What's going on, everybody? Wolf gang, gang, gang. What's cracking? Listen, I finally got my Jordan 1s in the mail from Nike.com after almost waiting, you know, close to a week or whatnot. And um, I found these for a very good price. I think I paid like 89 bucks for them. I think the retail needs was 170 If I'm not mistaken, this was the first Air Jordan 1 to, re to release at the price of 170 but uh they had like a 25 percent off sale and they were already on sale for like a buck 18 so the receipt like we always do ah. <laughs> Let's see. i'm sure y'all know what these are they're doing one high black gym red black white size 14. Got to have a size 14, man. And here they are. Satin. I'm looking at them the same time you guys are. And I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the leather around the ankle collar. Is it really satin? I've watched a few videos on these when they first we're getting ready to be released and some were insinuating that this is actually neoprene but to be honest they do remind me of a tight knit version of satin I'm not sure if that would still make them neoprene but it could be that on the other shoes it was a looser version of the satin um, but you guys can go to Google for all that kind of stuff but um, there are certainly different levels to satin um, it's good to always try to educate yourself on things versus just listening to you know us on the internet but anyway overall it's a pretty dope shoe I like the fact that it came with extra laces um, not all other retros tend to come like that, which can be kind of a bummer sometimes, especially since some of the laces that come with these really don't help bring out the overall color scheme, especially when it comes to Air Jordan 1, as you can see, size, size 14. But like I was saying earlier, I definitely like the quality that they present around the ankle collar. I do like what they're doing around the toe. Looks pretty damn good to me. Please understand me. Just because I'm saying something is soft to the touch does, does, does not mean that I have to, you know, just solely go off all that. It, it still means I have to wear them over, a, you know, like a long period of time. So I know people are probably upset that these have no type of resale value, but to be honest, they have a different type of value and why do I say that because these are the perfect candidate for a sneaker custom now I think that's what's gonna happen and let's go ahead and check the other shoe because we always do our QC couldn't do it in the store because everything is closed and I did order these from Nike.com for the price of $89.23 and like I said earlier, these were the first Air Jordan 1s to uh, release at the new 2020 price of $170. And that's not what I paid. Yes. I guess that's stamped on, so. Nothing too special there. Compared to the Pine Green 2.0s, the pine greens have them beat there. Nothing else to really say about them. The reason why I'm checking the shoe so intricately and meticulously because sometimes when you wear a size 14, the shoes come in with a lot of defects. It could be glue, it could be scratches. Um, I bought Jordans and they've had a fresh scratch on them and 
Luckily, I know how to take care of things like that. And depending on the type of release that I bought, if I can't fix it, I just, I just damn wear them. Remember when everybody was tripping off this stitch right here, how it needs to be at a certain angle? I wear a size 14. It's kind of hard to get this so-called angle on every pair because it it changes. Cause I'm pretty sure the people who make these shoes um, have that same issue, you know, having to do it in repetition over and over and over again. You know, I think that's how fakes tend to get created anyway. But I digress, N not to go into a rant. These are the perfect candidate for a sneaker custom video. And before I let anybody bite my style, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut and I'm gonna get the ball rolling on them. So, without being too pedantic, without being too loquacious, let's get right into the action. Stay tuned. Deuce.
all right guys so that's gonna wrap this one up i hope you guys enjoyed it try to hit a few high points here and then we're gonna close this thing out first of all all of the paints finishes brushes all that you can get from you guessed it angelusdirect.com i use a uh pearlescent pacific blue and a pearlescent bright red not sure if you guys can really see it the leather quality on these i must say is very nice i think the black really made it look dull but once i started to take the black off and start my custom i realized that the leather especially on the swoosh and along the ankle collar is very nice and the method behind my madness was to really help bring out the satin on this shoe i felt like the black really didn't do it justice so pearlescent blue pearlescent red the red laces already come with the air jordan satin ones the Royal Blue Laces, I bought them myself to put in the shoe. Um, the finish. This is a satin mixed with high gloss, okay? Since I don't have a airbrush gun, this is all hand painted. Let me say this again. This is all hand painted. From, from laying down the flat white, the blue, the red, and the finish. I made the logo logo list for like a satin black finish using uh, flat black paint. And the rest is history. My advice to anybody that wants to make this custom, please be sure to tape your shoes up properly and don't oversaturate the shoe with acetone because it's real easy to get the paint onto the satin and it's very difficult to get out so please be careful um, I know people may think that these look like the uh, Air Jordan 185s but it's totally different totally different this is a very shiny metallic like candy apple red with like a high gloss finish um, what I say, these are royal. Uh, I think the color on the bottle says Pacific Blue or something like that. But overall, very dope custom. I'm not gonna do it on foot because they are still curing. Um, as as I've always been told, you should let your shoes cure with the finish for at least 48 to 72 hours, and then you should be able, you should be able to wear them after that let me know what you guys think in the um, comments and as always thank you guys for watching see you on the next video oh i think i'll name these red pill blue pill let let me know which one you like the red or the blue deuces